In this video, I'll be showing how to make lamp black. This is an ancient pigment used in black ink and also an essential ingredient in my favorite Japanese sparklers, Senko Hanabi. There are different kinds of lamp black. Some is made by burning oil, some from natural gas, and these varieties are most common as a pigment for rubber. This is why car tires are black. The variety we will be making is much less common only found in the finest and most expensive calligraphy ink. This type of lamp black, which we also need to make the beautiful sparks of a Senko Hanabi, is made from resinous pine wood, also called fat wood. This can be collected from the stumps of pine trees that have been cut down, or purchased in bulk as natural fire starters. The smoke from burning fatwood contains lots of lamp black. It just needs to be collected on a metal surface. The method I have found to work best requires several items. A metal bucket, a steel pot, a steel utensil holder, and a soup can. The utensil holder goes inside of the bucket, which simply gives the pot something to sit on. The source of resinous pine wood, which I will be burning to make lamp black, are fatwood fire starters, which I purchased online. Link in the description below. I take two of these pieces, cut them in half, and place them in a soup can, which then goes into the utensil holder. Now we light them on fire. The fire needs a source of air before I set the pot over top. If I didn't mind ruining the metal bucket, I could provide airflow by punching a hole in the bottom. Instead, the bucket can be spared by putting a few metal pipes around the perimeter. When the pot is set on top, the natural draft of the fire pulls air down the pipes to the base of the flame. And now we are starting to form lamp black as it collects on the bottom of the pot. There's nothing to do besides wait for the fire to burn out. You might be tempted to add water to the pot in an attempt to keep it cool, with the hope that lamp black will collect faster, but that won't help. We want this pot to get very hot, so only pure lamp black will survive the process. If the pot is cold, the result will be contaminated with pine oil and tar. Once the pot is cooled off, the lamp black can be collected with a paintbrush, brushing it onto a piece of foil. And this is the result. About one gram of the finest quality lamp black, ready to be used in Senko Hanabi sparklers, or mixed with water and a pinch of natural binder to create one of the most ancient forms of ink. It takes a good deal of mixing to break up the particles, but once finished, the ink flows very nicely even from a modern glass pen like this one. This lamp black behaves slightly differently in a Senko Hanabi recipe compared to what I brought home from Japan, so I've adjusted my recipe for good results when using this particular ingredient. Now I can finally make these incredibly delicate and uncommon sparklers without having to cross an ocean to find one of the rarest firework ingredients in the world, natural pine lamp black. 